Welcome to my next video about playing Ovi. Because the video about doing an easy color pure project will need some more preparation time, I thought it would be useful to do another video in the meantime. About doing a high muted non pure project. I think most Ovi players have already done a mute project if they had enough credits. Especially low muted projects are easy to do. But in my experience, after playing Ovi for a couple of years, I know that some might have questions about it. Especially about high muted projects. That's why I'm going to show you my way to do a high muted project. Maybe it will help you to find your own method or to perfect it. So here we go. Before generating, first I go to the visualizer and play around with some colors and mutes, just to be sure that the ideas I have will look like they did in my imagination. When you are trying different species and mutes, remember that there are species you can only generate at a special time of the year. So after a bit of playing with the visualizer, this is what I'm going to do for this project. A 11V Hyena project. I could add some more mutes, but I think that would look too messy. A normal starter set for a mute project consists of 8 pairs. For a high muted starter set you have to generate, well, 8 pairs as well. You have to choose now if you want to generate them with a color lock or not. It's not necessary for a non-pure project, but some colors can be brighter with the right lock. Or maybe you want to rebuild them as a pure later on. Well, you can generate hyena all year round, so I will start without any lock this time. Of course I could generate up to 10 pets at once for higher quantity, but I like to take a look on each pet's values. Even if it's a non-pure project, I want to be sure that the colors are not that muddy, especially the white part. I prefer naming the pairs by numbers. But you can also use letters, emojis, whatever you're comfortable with. Now I've got 8 pairs. Let's put them into their own enclosure. And I also add 4 random pets to separate the next hatched pets visually from the generated ones. Now let's do the first breeding and the first mutation. When you are doing a low muted project you will get less pairs with every generation. So it's useful to start with the cheapest mute. But we are working on a high muted project. The number of pairs will stay at 8 pairs. It does not matter which mutation we are going to start with. So let's start with the tail. Now we have to wait until they hatch. Now name the pets after the breeding pair and put them into the project tab. Next step is to breed a sibling for them. You have to breed every generation twice, so the number of pets stays the same. You need a female and a male offspring out of every pair. After the first batch is hatched, I make a note on the egg to remind myself what gender I want it to be. 
This way, when they hatch, I can see right away if they have the right gender without naming and putting them in the tab first. Then splice them again. If you are splicing very expensive mutes, it might be good to do a DNA profile first. The profile costs 10 Cs, but some mutations are 20 Cs and more. It's a bit of a lottery. Maybe you will DNA profile a pet to find out its gender, and when it's the right gender, you spend 10 Cs more on it. Maybe it has the wrong gender and you save the money for the expensive mute and just spend 10 Cs for the profile instead. Depending on how many gender fails you get, it can be cheaper to profile the egg first. But you don't have to. Now we're waiting for the eggs to hatch again. Let's see if we got the right genders. Two with a gender fail. Let's breathe again right now. Also number six. And eight. So we sort the ones with the right genders into the project tab. Don't forget to splice a new X and wait for the next hatching. Let's see what they gave us. Another gender fail. Breed it again. This is right. Put it into the tab.
Now I got a female and a male from every breeding pair with the first mutation. To clean up the tab, I move the generated pets to another tab now. I don't need them anymore for the project. It's on you if you keep them or doing another project or sell them or whatever. I put them into an interim storage. Next step before adding the next mutation is to put together new pairs. Just check which pets can breed with each other to be sure. So one can breed with two. Let's put them together as a new pair. Important, always put together the male and the female with mates with the same number. So if I put together the female one with the male two, I also put together the male one with the female two. Now, and this is how far we made it now. Make sure that you don't mix up the pairs by accident. If it's easier for you, you can also give them a tag for example. Now we can breed the new pairs and add the next mutation. I always breed them by using the male and starting with the first one. So that the first female is always the one that belongs to the male. Now I'm going to hatch and name the next generation. This is the first generation in this project where the parents don't have the same name anymore. In the past I named them with the numbers of both parents so this pet would have the name 1-2. But naming them with all numbers of the parents can be really nasty. Because with every generation there are more numbers. Next generation would have 4 and the next generation would have eight. I'm a bit too lazy to name them like that. Also, it looks a bit confusing to me. So, I will only name every egg like the female before was named. This pet's mother has number one, so I name it with one, two. Every pet is now named with the female's number from the generation before. And I will do that the whole project, so every pet always will have only one number as its name. Now I breed them again. I need the opposite gender from every pair. And I breed them again always starting with a male, so I don't have to remember which female belongs to which male because they are in the right order. And splice them with the same mute.
always a lot of waiting. If you want to reduce the waiting time, you can rebreed the pairs that need another offspring right away after the cooldown. But do not splice the eggs right away. Wait until the spliced eggs are hatched. Maybe they have the right gender, then you don't need the second eggs. That is for example a good idea when there are limited mutes and you have to hurry. Now I can put together new breeding pairs again. This time it's not breeding 1 plus 2 anymore, they are now related, so the numbers that can breed together will change with every generation. The one we pairs are not needed anymore. And now we can add the next mutation. Let's go on with the ears. Name them like the female. Always check the female's number because they are not in the right order. Now breed them until you have both genders from all pairs. Now again put the last generation into the interim storage or wherever. Sort the pairs new. Read them, add a mutation, head this time. Breed them until we have both genders and repeat until all the mutes you wanted are done.
If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want to see more videos about playing ovipads and pure breeding. Thank you for watching. If you still have any questions, feel free to PM me on Ovi. Hope to see you soon.